गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे वी हैव अ वेरी न्यू एंड एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ट्रांजिटिव एंड इन ट्रांजिटिव वर्ब्स दिस इज द लास्ट टॉपिक दैट वी आर डूइंग इन द ग्रामर बुक राइट नाउ आफ्टर दिस विल डू अ चैप्टर इन रीडर एंड देन कम टू ग्रामर लेटर ऑन so do this chapter nicely it is very interesting now you know what are verbs verbs are action words verbs are action words any word that shows action in any form is called a verb everybody knows this now what happens sometimes like in some sentences verbs need an object to complete themselves and that these verbs are correctly understood only if they have an object try to understand the meaning of the verb becomes clear or why the verb is used becomes clear only when there is an object to it object you know anything let's understand with examples if i say she is writing writing what neither i know nor i need to know because meaning is getting complete here she is writing children play what do they play how do they play i am not concerned i just know children play so there is no object with the verbs what is the verb in the first sentence she is writing writing is the verb but there is no object what is she writing where is she writing how is she writing i don't know children play what is the verb play what are they playing how do they play i don't know so there is no object to these verbs <laughs> now at the same time if i say she is writing a letter now you know what is she writing yes she is writing a letter children play with toys how do children play they play with toys so letter and toys are objects to verbs they are called objects to verbs now do you understand what is the object in a sentence and what is like sometimes you can have objects in the sentence sometimes we might not have now try to understand verbs which are complete without objects are called intransitive we call them intransitive verbs like he eats what he eats i don't know they go where do they go i don't know so there are no objects in the sentence so these verbs are intransitive verbs now if i say he eats an ice cream uh, everybody feeling and i want to have okay he eats an ice cream ice cream is the object to the verb eats they go they go to school school is the where are they going they are going to school so school is the object to the verb go now verbs which require an object are called transitive in the first two sentences eats and go are intransitive verbs in the next two sentences eats and go same verbs are but they have become transitive why because they have an object with them same verb hai but in the first two sentences they are intransitive in the next two sentences they are transitive why because there are objects in the sentences now what is important here to realize that first you should mark objects and verbs of the sentences then it will be very easy for you to name the verbs whether they are transitive or intransitive now what you can do for it write v above the verbs and o above the objects now you will know 
If there is an object, it is transitive verb. If there is no object, it is intransitive verb. I hope I have made myself clear. Answers of the chapter I am sending you in the worksheet. Like always, you have to do it in a very good handwriting and ask the doubts in the online class or on my WhatsApp. As I said, you can WhatsApp to me. I'll answer your queries. So just read the chapter. It is very short chapter, but very interesting. You know, don't get confused. Read nicely and you can see this video again. You can listen to it again and understand. Okay. Bye.